That is loud. Yeah, it's new blade. All right, Mike's cutting shelves for my cabinets because when I moved, one of the last things I left in the garage were my shelves, and then I couldn't find them. I lost them. So we're making new ones for the cabinets. So Mike cutting those Ooh, out, and we got these here. We uh, for stain and some paint. yeah. His dad, his dad routed these for me earlier, and I'm just sitting them with my DA sander, <laughs> with some body work on them, and just getting them smoothed out so I can put a coat of stain on them and uh, let it dry. So tomorrow we can get them in there and get that a little bit more squared up, but they're smooth not really well. It's turned out to be a really good smooth edge. And the stand I'm using is all I had. It's dark, but I don't care. It's what I got, so it'll look all right. You'll see. Stuff against the fence is a three quarter. I gotta sand those this week. Week after work, when I come home, I'll be taking those, sanding them down real good. I'm gonna put two coats of white on both sides, clean them up really well, and then put my new shelf.
So now I can sweep all this crap up, and then, uh, then I can stain my pieces and let them dry for tomorrow. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them three pieces out for work, or and uh, paint them too. Well, I got stuff nice and clean out here, and the heat going. Well, it's going to be when I sweep this up. Oh yeah. So I can paint. I'll use my wet dry back. Maybe that'll help get rid of some of that diesel smell in the <laughs> filter. <laughs> some dumbass bunch of diesel fuel in here and all over the floor and it's stinking up my garage. It's just now getting better. <laughs> now my wet dry back smells like it. Yeah. That stuff did. But yep, I'll sweep this stuff up and then Yeah. Yeah, I had all my stuff moved out of my garage almost, and the last I thing I had, there. last thing I had, was my shelves stacked on my mower, and I just don't know what I did with them. I thought I brought them over here, and I went back over before they, the new people moved in, and they weren't there, so I put them somewhere. I don't know if somebody else threw them out, thinking I didn't need them. I mean, they could possibly be in the house. Maybe I took them in the house before I came back over here one day. And left them in there, and they don't know I need them. Amy, if you're watching this, I uh, need my shelves. Them things are like $20 a piece. I had eight of them. And, yeah, they, they were they were that wood -like color at the bottom of the cabinets. It was like that nice, like, fake wood. But, all right, guys. Probably it for the day, I'm thinking. Maybe I'll show you on a stain. And there we go. It's a dark walnut. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do my whole ceiling on that or paint it white. I was going to stain it like this, then I decided to paint it white. But now I just did this and I like it, so I might stain it. So should I do the ceiling in this, or do the ceiling in painting it white? Because now I'm not sure, I'm confused. But my ceiling is all insulated and ready to go. I don't have anything, which is awesome. It's got an inch and a half of all kinds of wood and all kinds of stuff, so that'll be good. I'm just gonna put wood over top of it. But I'm just not sure if I should paint it white or if I should stain it. What's your opinion on that? I like it, it brings out the, the wood. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like it, I really do. It's different. Guys, that's definitely it, me and Mike are checking out, right Mike? Yeah, we're done. We're out. Peace. Peace.